And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Bannerman Vi. Uh, gonna go ahead and play one of the best decks and one of the most popular decks. I like, you know, doing that too. You know, we play um, some crazy stuff and, and, you know, some off the wall things, but it's also good to play a few video, you know, uh, have a couple of videos of like the better decks, the decks that people uh, really enjoy. So we're going with Bannerman Vi and my list that I'm going with this has a lot more one ofs than a lot of people play. I just like, like there's a bunch of different tricks and spells you can play in this kind of Bannerman deck. And so I like having kind of a one of a, a large variety of them. So at different times you have like the right trick for the situation. So we're not always playing just, you know, three reposts and we just hope repose is good depend you know no matter the matchup no matter what the board state looks like we just hope repost is good for just an example so you can see i have a radiant strike a ranger's resolve a repost a concerted strike a back-to-back -back, and an unyielding spirit so we just kind of have like you know one of a whole bunch of different things like there's gonna be times that back-to-back -back is just gonna be brutal there's gonna be times like where our opponent plays um, you know, a big warship and we need a concerted strike and all that kind of stuff. And, you know, you just hope your, your spells line up well. Um, we don't make it easy on our opponent with having uh, different options at different times. Besides that, we're just doing our regular curve out. We got single combat is our, like our three of, and then we're just curving out with Fiora and Vi. Um, getting one extra one drop besides the fleet feather trackers. I don't love going like three Cythrias, um, because later on in the game, Cythria is such a bad card to draw. And so I'm going with a little, you know, a little bit more uh, spells instead of playing more Cythrias. Okay, uh, let's give this a chance. We're going to go play five games over in ranked. But I kind of want that fourth, that like that fourth one drop. keep single combat. I think this could be a, a pretty decent single combat matchup. They're going to be playing a bunch of Grizzled Rangers and Badger Bears themselves, so Fiora is just going to be a little small, so we're getting rid of Fiora. QQ! Thanks for the resub, QQ. That hit our sub goal? That does. Getting our sub goal today. Love it. And the, the reason why that's important, what our sub goals do is every. Um, for every sub goal we hit, uh, we mark it down, and then after 10 sub goals, I do a 10 hour stream. So I definitely think that they're going to be playing Radiant Guardian. I think that's their plan. Here we go. They block, have something die, play Radiant Guardian. Okay, that's not their plan. I thought that was going to be their plan. You 
must die. Yeah, I kind of I I agree with you, Soapy Mets. I don't have any hate for for Burn. I don't think there's any any need for any hate hate for burn. It's nice to have a deck that's good that's also cheap that people can um, build early on. It's and burn's not like overpowering like it's the only thing you can be doing. But like if, if all the decks were like you know required a bunch of champions and epics and difficult to build, that would, I think that would make a worse game. I'm letting them play their great, their, uh, their Radiant Guardian. Start of strike so good. Alright, this game's looking pretty good for them. Our battle like the battlefield's basically even, but they have two more cards than us. That concerted strike was huge. Oh, Harvey saying that she wants some ice cream. <laughs> She's telling the ice cream truck over here. Radiant Guardians. It's the the obvious super fast attack. That's what it always is. More Radiant Guardians. I'm gonna try to just play a whole bunch of four fours.
I don't want to attack with the Grizzled Ranger first, let them block, kill something, then play Radiant Guardian. Or do I? Well, yeah, because then I, I can pull the Radiant Guardian way over to the side, and that does take up five mana. At 12 mana, so they'd have another seven. I fight with my spirit, not my fist. Maybe I do. I only have two extra mana. Virtue guides me. Soldier to me. Oh, single combat? Oh, no, single combat. No. Uh. Single combat. Perfect card. Well, it doesn't look so good now. Shouldn't have done that. Should have just, just played my Cythria attack. Not done that first attack. Just thinking that it'd be good to, to tap them out so much. Everywhere I go, the light follows. Yeah, game's over now. This is not over, over. I'm doing this first to, to... Okay, now it's pretty over. Rest. Collect your thoughts. Yeah, I drew this crappy Cythria in the late game, right? I have one Cythria in my deck because I, I said how bad this card is to draw a late game, and yeah, that's what we did. It doesn't really matter, though. Karma lock. I wonder if I could have one without playing or without doing that attack. A beacon through the dark. Without doing that scout attack. Yeah, with likely having health potion, I don't know. Yeah, Fiora's pretty good. Um, Fiora has gotten worse with... Uh, with Grizzled Ranger and Loyal Badger Bear. That's definitely made Fiora worse with those cards being pretty popular. Hey, Shtiv. Yeah, GG's there. The single combat got me really bad, because... You know, I knew that they were, like, I knew he was probably going to play, like, a Radiant Guardian. Getting that set up, like, for the attack the previous turn, I was reading that. But the single comp, you know, obviously I was going to pull this, pull that to the side with the Fiora. Single combat cost me that. Let's keep this. I'm going to keep this back to back. I know it's cost six mana, but I feel like it can be a game-winning spell. And I already have things to do on my curve and will be you know drawing other things These old eyes still see far and clear. both removal God. spells were were key you know like the the removal spell to kill my Cythria you know was devastating but it wasn't wasn't it but then that that single combat that was game I don't like drawing these Cythrias back to back and now having three six mana cards. I don't like them. They're out there. I'll spot them. Matter of no one goes hungry. Ready 
the torches. So I have a Rosen sentry in Ash Sejuani. I feel like the reason to play Averroes and Sentry and Ash Sejuani is this is like a Reckoning deck, not... Like, I feel like that's like this, that's the kind of deck our opponent's going to be playing as a Reckoning deck. I need just a moment. Now, that being said, that doesn't... You know, I may not... I may just get wrecked by the Reckoning. So I play Bannerman, they play Reckoning, I play Radiant Strike to save Bright Seal Protector, I save two things. For the glory of I think it's worth it, and if they don't have Reckoning, this is great. Like, this is my best play if they don't have Reckoning. Even if, even if they do, which is like worst case scenario, I still keep... Uh, two five power things and hit them for ten because they don't get the block. Our strength is yours. In the name of our lead up, Fred. Stand and defend. Workshops is an interesting draw. Show them what we're made of. Ready for that? For glory. Face me. I'm just gonna go straight to attacks. I don't really want like a Sejuani coming in. That was a good turn for them. 
That was a good turn. That's a good card for me. Pain is nothing. Ride onward. Avarosans, stand together. No closer. I didn't want to do that. It's just instead of having my thing die, have their thing die, like I should do that. I wanted to play Sithria this turn. That's what I wanted to do. And then, you know, attack with a Six power Sithria. Or like a six six that matches up well against Edwani. Few are in the right to call themselves Trifarian. Nothing stands in our way. Let's see what you've got. Night misjudged. Trap is set. Trap has been kept. This is the Avrozen Trapper Keeper. It's like if they attack out, I'll have my Grizzled Ranger block the 4 4. I'll have Sithria block the 6 6. And an Unyielding Spirit, the Sithria. Uh, maybe. Is it, is it better to Unyielding Spirit the Grizzled Ranger and I get two attacks with it? Might be better to Unyielding Spear of the Grizzled Ranger, honestly. And then I just get two attacks with that. No, they're they're both easy to frostbite. Sithria just has one toughness. They're not difficult to frostbite. Today we fight as one! Stand and fight! Shield up! How you doing? No closer!
these things have six toughness. This will be quick. Well, that's weird. I just block with one of the things with six toughness. Taking the Sejuani because it has Overwhelm. Even though it, right now it attacks for five, where the others attack for six. Uh, I don't know. We haven't drawn a Vi yet. Two drops in the late game. We're not very good at drawing cards in the middle mid late game. Just drawing two drops. Yep, GG's. That's not the most helpful. have it like an all-in Fiora hand. No, the game is not rigged. No, not at all. Um, no, Eastern is not GMT. It is currently 4.44 right now, Eastern time. I think GMT is England, I believe. Eastern is like New York. Greenwich Mean Time. Yeah, that's GMT. Yeah, there's like, Eastern is like EST some, some parts of the year and EDT other parts of the year, depending on like the daylight savings time. This card's really good. Are we playing this card? Oh, I feel like we should put this card in our deck. It looks really good. Yeah, we should we should definitely put this card in our deck. Okay, so yeah, GMT is 11.45 p.m. One 
banner, one Freljord. Ah, Spolie. If I attack, if I attack with everything, I pump like that. Vi kills my war chefs, and I do four, eight, thirteen. So they have to block with solitary monk on something. So that's probably good for me. If I must, as fate wills. Come on. If I just stacked with the two, they have to block, so maybe this was not good. It's like if I just stack with those two, they'd still have to do that blocking. I did get eight points of damage in for that war shaft, so that's probably worth it. Imminently logical. Imminently logical. All right, GG's. Finally, a Vi showed up and we won. It just wasn't our Vi. Feel the Demacia deck, whenever it's turn four and you double spell with two drops, it's usually a really good sign. But we did we did have a mix, a good mix of spells and, uh, you know, and units. You know, like the Repose were really good. Did have a good mix there. Do I keep a second tracker? Yeah, it looks like we don't need Vi to win with Bannerman Vi. The key part's the Bannerman part. A fight, a cooking. Flavor and spice. Break their spirits and their souls. Yeah, Laurent Protege is good. Opponent smart, playing protege, not playing badger bear. Mm. I know, right? That is like the best. Yeah, that is like the best uh, reason to be playing bannerman. Is it the war chef voice lines? If I if I bright seal protector the war chefs, I guess I'm gonna do that. Then you know, then they kill the tracker. You know, I can't... I can't protect her both things. Can't save everything. They have another Bright Steel Protector. I'm going to be really sad. Push back the darkness. 
What? Time to get I don't know. Why, why would I even attack with that thing now? Obviously, there's no point. I, I... <laughs> that was just instincts. Shouldn't attack with that. Surprised they gave... That I was just like... So surprised they gave me Lucian. <laughs> that was a dumb attack. No one ever. No one knows the name Laurel. No, everyone. So I'm going to say everyone knows the name Laurel. You're covered. Yeah, my. Yep, fell for it. Yep. My shield is yours. I fell for it. My duty's done. Press on. They would fall by my blade. It's a long path to get you. Why do we always draw this this one of Sithria in the late game? It's like you don't you're not gonna do anything ever. You just take it out. We should probably put a Vi in this deck. Let's take this out, put a Vi in here. That sounds like a card they'll do more. Show them what we're made of. I will put try me. Guide me, protect and strike. Feel the sizzle. Honor, guide me. Batter him, protect and strike. Can't fight on an empty. I guess our Scythria saves a six life, I guess. So soon. Yeah, we're doing really bad job in drawing in the late game. You know, Scythria, then War Chefs. Not good draws.
<laughs> Big Sithra should die since she killed her young self and can't exist in the future. Alright, so they have four cards and I have two, and both of mine aren't very good. So if those trade, basically I have, a, I have a War Chefs and they have two cards. Can't imagine my War Chefs is good enough against their two cards. Been a long path to get here. Why not War Chefs the Fiora to kill something that attack? Because the Scythria stays alive and kills my War Chefs. And that Scythria is more valuable than my Fiora. See, that's how you do it. You pull, you have Scythria in the late game, not one drop. You know, my last four dra draws have just been one drop, one drop, two drop, three drop. <clears throat> kind of the downside to Loyal Badger Bear is it doesn't have card advantage. You know, I think if we're playing Ran Vanguard Redeemer, get that card advantage. <clears throat> One and three. Yeah, I I probably should put Vi in the deck. That's true. I we'll probably put a Vi in the deck. Hey, we drew a Vi. How about that? Finally drew one. All right, good night, Silky Mets. All right, yeah, good call. Let's get that final win. This for the Empire, do that for the Empire. Empire this, Empire that. Save your worlds. We speak with blades. Hey poker. I have the best job. Can't fight on an empty stomach. So I can use a spinning axe to kill my Fiora, but <clears throat> that means that I'm trading with Draven plus another card from hand. That's a pretty good trade. Time for the money maker. Yeah, trade with a rummage. I'll take that. And like we're both at 18, I got four cards in hand. They have, eh, I guess they technically have four. They have three plus the ax. But we got this card and that card. The problem is, is this turn's gonna be very bad. Okay. There we go. We can trade. Alright, that was definitely our best hand. You know, Tracker, War Chefs, Fiora. That worked out very well. 
All right, got that win. So there we go. That's Bannerman Vi. I I recommend drawing Vi. It's a good card. I recommend drawing that card. Um, we didn't do a very good job of that. And I recommend that whenever it's turn uh, five, six, and seven, don't draw a Scythria, Fleet Feather Tracker, War Chefs, Bright Steel Protector, Loyal Badger Bear. A couple of games in a row where those were those were like a combination of those cards. A couple of games in a row were all we drew in the late game. In multiple games. <laughs> it's not good. You know, draw draw some tricks. Draw some Swiftling Lancer. It's not a bad card. Oh. That's weird. Have y'all Have y'all noticed there's a new thing that I just noticed that if you if you right click on a card and bring this part up, it's underneath my camera. Can I like hide my camera for a second, maybe? Maybe. There we go. See, it says foundations. That's a new thing. So I guess the very first set is called foundations. I don't know if they ever even announced that. Because this is from the new set. It says Rising Tides. It's from the Rising Tides set. But I didn't I didn't know the first set was called Foundations. But I guess that's a thing. Hmm. Alright, we're back at it. Um We'll be back at it tomorrow also. Uh, tomorrow is the, the later stream starting at 4 p.m. Eastern, basically an hour before where we're at right now. Um, those of y'all watching on YouTube, hit that like button over there. Let me know how Bannerman of Vi is uh, treating you if you're playing this deck. I know it's a real popular deck. Let me know what you think of like these different like one of card choices that I have, how I like uh, kind of spreading it out. Uh, if, if I would change anything right now, I think I'd want to take out the Scythria the Scythria is a good blocker against aggro, but I think I just want to take it out because it just keeps costing us games drawing it later on. And, and you know, play something else. Probably another spell. Probably just get a 10th spell in here. Um, you know, whether it's a Ranger's Resolve or Radiant Strike, maybe another Repose. Repose is pretty strong for us. Concerted Strike looked good. You know, some other spell like that. <laughs> maybe another Concerted Strike. Yeah, probably that, but... Um, yeah, I think I'm going to do that. I think I'm going to take out Cythria, play Concerted Strike. That card's good. All right, but anyway, that's it here for Bannerman Vi. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.